one up leap from the techies and today in After Effects it's going to be a simple tutorial on how to use CC Lens. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and start a little series on going over all of the little kinds of um, default plugins, not plugins, default effects that After Effects has. So first I'm going to go ahead and drag my clip into my composition here and I'm going to go ahead and make this wide enough to fit the entire screen. Just a, a note, it does look better if it does fit the entire screen. If you're using widescreen, you'll see a little bit of um, distortion after you have used the effect. So now I'm going to go over to Effect, and oh, I always forget which one it is under... Okay, so here under Distort, if we go ahead and click on CC Lens, it'll go ahead and drop onto our clip here. And we have some very simple effects that we can or options that we can change. You can change where the actual center of the effect is going to happen. Usually you see a lot of this stuff in montages and stuff like that. It happens in the center and then for example if I go ahead and decrease this, this clip is only five seconds and you usually go out, I don't know, a few seconds or a few frames, usually a few, a few frames and you just increase it back to normal size so you have this kind of like lens bursting effect that they call it. So if we go down to our effects tab in our composition here we can actually keyframe when this is going to happen. So if we start let's say the default is 50 you can of course go lower than that you can start at 0 if you want. We'll go ahead and um, we'll start at 25 just to be cool. 25 and you can also mess with the um, convergence and that's like how how much um, lens or convergence if you should know what that word means uh, that this clip actually has so I think we went ahead and set one of our keyframes up oh, we didn't so we'll go ahead and set a keyframe at uh, the beginning there this is actually a clip of a double torque in gears so and maybe move ahead uh, five a few frames or so and then increase it to 500 because um, as you notice if you go right off it there is just a tad distortion if you don't use the um, maximum settings there and there we go you can see that play it again you can use F9 if you would like to smooth out all these keyframes so if I might F9 button there you go if you don't know, F9 just makes the keyframes smoother. So if we go ahead and play that again, boom, we have a lens burst. It's a really cool effect. Um, it's overused in a lot of videos that you see, but <clears throat> nonetheless, it's a good effect. It's usually accompanied with a bass drop, but I'll be going over how to do that in another tutorial. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I have been Eat Sleep from the Techies.